everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Morley. Hi, nice to meet you. So today we're going to be doing our final townie makeover for the Goth family, which is Miss Cassandra Goth. And um, just a heads up, for some reason, uh, when I rendered my video, it cut a couple parts out. So like, I don't have the part where I made her um, everyday outfit. But I do have everything else, so I apologize greatly, but just to um, tell you, the cute outfit that came with the sweater and the skirt, it was, an, it was a full outfit, but it was like a sweater, it was black with like striping on it, I put her in that for her everyday outfit. So just so that you can get an idea, um, you can see when you download her on the gallery, but anyways, yeah, so this is her formal outfit, and it took me forever to find her a freaking hair for her outfit, but I finally decided on one, and I tried to make her very, um, I tried to make her look a little bit more mature, because she is a teenager, and the pigtails that she had before were just awkward to me, like, they were so childlike, and I just didn't like it. Like, the other members of the family, when I would see them as townies, just, like, around town, they would look totally fine, like, I wouldn't have a problem with it, but she would always look so awkward, which I feel like is part of her charm, but also, I just couldn't deal with it, like, everybody deserves to feel pretty, so I went ahead and just gave her a little makeover, I mean, that's the whole point of these videos, is it not? <laughs> but, yeah, um, and I do reference back to Bella a few times, because I just want to double check that I don't put them in the same outfit, or give them the same hair, or whatever, so, um, that's why you see me going back to Bella a couple times in the video, but yeah, so I really want you guys to tell me down in the comments what y'all think of the family as a whole finished. Um, I feel like they look like more of a cohesive unit together, which I know it's kind of like cliche, like in cartoons and stuff, they make like married couples and families look a lot like each other to like signify that relationship, that bond. But I really do feel like they look like more of a unit, like a family unit, than just, like, parents and children. But, yeah, and the, okay, the glasses that I put on her are the cutest. They're by Kijiko. If I'm saying that wrong, please don't come for me because I'm terrible with stuff like that. But um, the same creator who makes the eyelashes that everybody uses because they are literally perfect the only problem I have with them is that you can't use like lower extremity accessories with them like you can't put rings or anything because then it makes them all like blocky and weird but that's literally my only complaint I don't have any other complaints they are perfect and they are beautiful <laughs> and um I was I was really confused because when I downloaded the skin that I normally use I didn't put my normal skin on her, but when I downloaded it, it said teen through elder, because that's usually how everything is. It's like teen through elder and then child toddler, but for some reason, the skin wasn't available for her, so I had to, like, finagle my own skin, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I... I just love her. I think she looks so cute. And she's a writing sim. She's creative. She's gloomy. So I feel like her being in all black and like she's like brooding and you know, I feel like that's just totally her. You know what I mean? So, oh, and y'all, her party outfit, tell me she don't look cute. Tell me she's not the cutest in the world. I do change her shoes. Don't worry. But tell me that's not so cute. I think that's custom content. If it's not, I'm really impressed, but I'm pretty sure it's custom content. I didn't see, I, I wasn't looking at the screen when I put it on her, but look, uh, look at how cute she looks. Like, okay, before she was like the little awkward nerdy girl, but now she's like the cute nerdy girl, <laughs> which if you want to be the awkward nerdy girl, they all power to you. You know, I was, I wasn't nerdy, but I was definitely awkward in school. So I, I feel you, <laughs> but we're getting close to the end. Um, I can't remember. Did I put her in that dress? Um, no. Okay, thank goodness. I was like, oh, come on. Yeah, so, oh yeah, I put her in that cute top from, um, oh my gosh, Get Together. I, when Get Together came out, I used that shirt so often. It was actually disgusting. It was actually disgusting. It, like, tell me she's not giving you, like, Wednesday Adam vibes right now. I didn't even notice. She's totally giving me Wednesday Adam vibes right now. So cute. Look at her. By the way, Wednesday Adams is a mood. Like, 
as a whole, like, she is a mood. Like, I have that mood quite often. Just, like, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Come on. Like, total mood. And I don't know if I want to put her in for her cold weather. I'm really terrible. I have the worst memory. I can never remember. So, like, I'll be voiceover. I'll be, like, doing a voiceover. And I'll be like, oh, wow, that's so cute. And I'm like, duh, because I put her in it. But, oh, yeah, this custom content little coat. My gosh. I, I'm, I'm just very proud of myself. I'm just going to pat myself on the back because I worked really hard <laughs> to make over this family. And, yeah, so what boots did I put her in? I don't even remember. Oh, those ones cute! But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave it a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notifications when I post. If you like, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at BlueBonnetSims. And I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!